Hello everybody, so today I'm going to show you how to customize the look and feel of your category page. So, in WordPress of course. So, this is my uh, my local website. And if you go to categories, post categories, and I have uh, two categories here. If I click on view, there is, you can see that this is the default view of any category there's a post and there's there isn't much you can do uh, to customize it at least uh, supported by default in WordPress so what can you do what if you want to use uh, plugins like Elementor or Visual Composer or even Gothenburg to customize this page so that is what I'm going to show you in this video so here, here are the steps I listed uh, that we need to do to, to truly customize the look of your category page. So the first thing you need to do is to find the category ID. So let's go back to our site and go to posts, categories here, and hover your cursor on the edit link here. And you can notice that at the bottom left of the screen there's a link and you see that there's a part called tag underscore id equal one so you know that the id of this category is one and if i hover on the other one you can see that the tag underscore id is two so uh, this information is very very important so um, just remember that uh, the, the category ID of uncategorized is one. We're going to create a custom uh, custom look for uh, this this category. So the next the next step is uh, find your current theme. It is very important to know your current theme too. So go to appearance themes. And you can see that we have 2017 active. So this is the current active uh, theme on my site. Yours may, may be different, but uh, you must know this information before going to step three. So, so the step three is to create a category dash ID dot, uh, dot PHP file in your theme folder. So I'm going to go to my theme folder here. So you can, uh, I'm, I'm on Windows, but you, if you are on Linux, so you can go to, this is your site, go to wp-content, go to themes. And as I mentioned, my, my theme is 2017. So I click on this. And we are going to create a file called category ID. Replace this ID with the actual category ID. Dot PHP. So we are not going to create this file from scratch, but you may want to copy it from single. If you don't have a single dot PHP in your theme, then you can copy index dot PHP. So I'm going to copy single here and paste right here and rename it to category dash one. And that's it. Let's go to the next step. The next step is to install a plugin called Display Post Shortcode. It is free plugin in WordPress.org. So go back to your site, go to plugins add new and go to displays let's type display posts and it is at the first position here so click on install now you see it is installed and let's click on activate Then we don't have to do anything else with the plugin. 
Now go to the next step, which is create a content for your category in a draft post. Why do you want to do this? Just just do it, and I'll show you how to how how it is useful later. So go back to your site. I'm going to create a new post, and as you can see that I use Elementor here. I have Elementor plugin builder plugin uh, activated here, and you can either create uh, the post content with your WordPress default editor or Gutenberg. Oh, but let's say I want to create the content with Elementor. So simply I click edit with Elementor and here is the builder. So simply I click and drag some elements into the page and try to customize a bit here. This is a an awesome category page. That's it. You can customize uh, the page uh, to to your liking. So, just for demonstration purpose, I'm going to create this page like this here. So we remember to save it as a draft. Don't publish it. Why is that? Because this is the content of your category page. You don't want to publish it to avoid duplicate, duplicate content. And in addition, this post, uh, the, the sole purpose, purpose of this post is to, to be the content of your category page. The post on its own has no meaning. So we click on this icon as exit to dashboard. Now, you, I want you to pay attention to the URL of uh, the edit screen. There's a part called post equal 21, and the 21 is the post ID. And uh, we're going to use this information in the next step. So, the, what is the next step? We are going to display the draft post in your, your category. So go back to our theme folder. And this is our, our category page. Let's edit it. Make sure you edit this with uh, your ed text editor. If you are in a Linux server, you can use Vim. Or you can use, uh, you can add TP to your your host to edit with uh, with your text editor. You can also log into cPanel if your host supported to edit it in your browser. I'm going to edit it with Node, Notepad++ here. And you notice that we have, we have uh, a bit of PHP code here. So pay attention to this part. This is not uh, identical to all themes, but you may uh, have uh, this kind of st structure. There's a main tag here, and this, uh, and this is an opening tag, and this is a closing tag. Delete everything in between. Okay, so that's it. Now paste this code. I'm going to, to put this code in the the comment section or I'm going to create a, uh, a post, a blog post with this code so you can simply copy and paste this. Click on copy and paste it, paste it uh, between main and main and re replace this ID with your post ID, the draft post you have just created. So if you can remember our draft post has ID of 21. So now save the page, save uh, the file, and go back to our browser, go to categories, and categories, click on view. Sure enough, you see the content uh, isn't the default, default content anymore. 
it is the new content that we created in our draft post. So uh, I hope the, the video has been helpful to you. If you have, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to, to, to leave a comment or go to binarycarpenter.com and send me an email there. Thank you very much.